So one of the things that really kills throwers is alignment. We're gonna talk about how to set a proper alignment, what to avoid in this video. Here we go, check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airtake Pros Nation, and today's what we are going to talk about is setting up your drills and doing in sequentially in the right alignment. So often with young throwers, when I have people that fly in all over the country to Phoenix to have private training camps with me, and one of the common things I swear I teach at every camp is to set up proper alignment. Remember, if you're out there practicing and you're setting up wrong, then you're always moving and compensating in an inefficient pattern, and that is going to be learned, and then that means that's something you have to break. Let's talk about a like a modified wheel, for example. People call them a half turn 180, we call them a modified wheel. One of the things we want to look at is that if we look at our center line down the ring, we would set up facing, we would pre-turn the lower body and set the left position. Again, my, my sprint leg would be set in the position where it would be sprinting off the back of the ring. And so what I would be doing is setting my tension so that I set my separation correctly at this point. So I'm going to be able to push and move here. So many throwers I see set up like this. They're essentially facing this way. And what they don't realize is that they're lining up their feet in a way where both feet are lined up this way. That's one common thing that they do wrong, wrong alignment. Here's another thing that they do wrong. They set up their feet and they set up their foot like this. So now their sprint leg has to go around the block. You see that? And remember, we're supposed to be moving that sprint leg in a diagonal position to the power position. So we've got to make sure that that foot is set over here. So when I set and I push, I'm going to be getting that position so that the hips are going to open into the throw and into my block. The alignment is super critical. It's a super simple thing, but I see it all the time. And one of the things we want to do in this video is help you to realize, are you setting up your alignment right? Because if you're not, you're putting in a lot of time and energy doing the wrong things and you're going to create patterns that are incorrect that are later going to be fixed or going to be creating a limitation or worse, they're going to be doing both. And that means much slower progress to getting better fast. And that's what we all want to do. Coaches want to see it and throwers want to do it. Here's what we want again. Just make sure you're clear. If you see me setting up in my alignment and I'm throwing this way, look where the foot is. The foot is essentially going to be mirroring this position. Another quick tip on that is, do I set up the same way I'm setting up here? I'm not going to have this big wide of a base because in a real throw, when we start here, we have motion that leads us and covers that ground. So you're never going to be stretched out in the throw like that. You shouldn't be. You're going to be here and you're going to be seeing that type of a position. So again, the alignment is key to do this way. The key that we want to focus on is making sure we're not here. We're setting up that sprint leg position correctly. We're aligned correctly and we're moving as you'll notice how I set, how I pre-turn the hips. And so now I have tension. Shoulders are already set more this way. Hips are this way, which means everything is lined up this way. Watch that you're not here. 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 These are all the things you want to avoid. Proper alignment. Set up the position correctly. Push pull. Now I'm already set up and I'm going to be moving. My, my movements are that much more efficient. I'm going to get better faster and I'm going to throw farther. So hopefully that was helpful. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you have any other questions or other videos you'd like to see, please comment below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.